JK BMSs are bad and I no longer recommend them. This isn't a normal video. I am working on that. It's going to be a bit late, but I felt like I needed to make this one because folks who've been around since the beginning of the channel or who've gone back and watched the old build videos will know that I have had a lot of complaints with these things. For example, this one I'm holding is the very first BMS that I bought only to find out that I couldn't start it unless I put five volts across the B minus and the P minus, so forcing me to use this weird contraption of batteries. So then they came out with a version where you could get handlebar controls. This was supposed to be able to boot this thing up, only to find out that it uses a different connector. This is all with the same part number, and it wasn't compatible. And when I raised the issue, I was told, well, it was my fault for not making sure it was compatible first. I bought the, what I thought were 4S, 8S BMSs, two of them, only to find out that they only worked with 24 volt, even though a very similar one that Andy had been given worked with both 12 volt and 24 volt. They just changed it. Their perspective was basically, again, well, you should have looked into it. A lot of this I forgave grudgingly because they had a relatively decent active balancer built in. They seemed relatively okay. The problems we were having, the problems I was having, were annoying, but they were just that. With the issue that Andy found in that video, which is of course going to be linked below, the latest BMSs have a flaw in their firmware where if they're turned off for some period of time, they reset to lithium ion profiles, meaning that when they turn back on, they will charge the batteries up to 4.2 volts. Anybody who has learned anything about lithium iron phosphate cells probably just cringed if you hadn't already seen his video. I cannot emphasize strongly enough how dangerous that is. No, lithium iron phosphate will not catch fire, but if you charged your batteries up to 4.2 volts, they will swell, they will rupture whatever box they're in, and they will destroy your investment. For someone like me who has 120 of these cells in seven 48 volt, 280 amp hour configurations plus a 12 volt four cell, this flaw, if I had bought that new BMS and deployed that on all of my batteries, especially in this kind of testing environment where I turn things off and turn them back on again, I very well could have destroyed so much equipment that that would have ended this program. I couldn't have continued with this project because I wouldn't have had the money to replace all the cells. I have been frustrated with JK since I started using them. Now I'm angry. They should not have allowed a flaw like that to get out. Now, if it was a normal company and the majority of what they were doing was fine and this was their first mistake, I could almost forgive it. You know what? It was a major mistake. Instigate a recall. Make sure you get out, you reach out to everyone who's bought them and tell them to return them. Whatever it is you have to do. If you reacted properly to this, I could almost forgive them. But I started off telling you about a brief experience, series of experiences I've had with JKBMS to set the stage that this is not an isolated mistake. This is this is a result of how they develop their hardware. They change things on the fly. There's no easy way, no reasonable way for consumers to know when things have changed. They just change things and ship them. And clearly, without even the most basic of QA. If you're one of the people, one of the few people who watch my channel and don't watch Andy's channel, maybe you're from the boating community, please watch the linked video below. First of all, Andy's just freaking hilarious and he does a really great opening skit to it. But he deserves the views. He deserves the credit for finding this. His community deserves the credit for finding this. I, I need to figure out what I'm going to do next. I mean, I've already got an idea of what I'm gonna do next. Something's been behind the scenes. At this point in time, I am not putting JK BMSs on my boat. Yes, I've had these for a long time. Yes, the ones I own are probably okay. But from this point forward, I cannot and do not recommend JK BMSs. And if you have bought any of the new ones, disconnect them. It's, they're too dangerous. 
All right, with that rant over, a little bit of housekeeping. If you're watching this just after I've uploaded it, normally I upload a video today to patrons and it would go live tomorrow. I've got some parts I'm waiting to arrive that I don't have yet, so the video is going to be back a little bit. I got a new toy thanks to a lovely patron I'm going to talk about. I've actually got, weirdly, a lead acid battery video I'm going to do very shortly. Those will be coming and hopefully during the week, but my, my day job work is really jammed right now, so it might be a week before I get them up. <sighs> wow. Um, I only watched his, his video came out like three hours ago and I just watched it like half an hour ago and I just, I sat there gobsmacked at this mistake. I mean, I'm a software developer in my day job. I understand what it is to make mistakes. I understand what it is to let buggy code through. But something as critical as allowing the, the, the BMS to reset and change the, the charge voltage from 3.65 to 4.2 volts. Wow. Wow. Again, all credit to Andy and Andy's community. They found it. I'm just signal boosting it. I'm the Digital Mermaid. Um, see you guys soon.